Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my, what it seems like, one and only update for my products I want to use up in 2024. I was going back on um, on my videos because I was like, I think it's time, because I just did a quarterly update for my lip products I want to use up in 2024. And I was like, I think it's time to do my products for 2024. And so I was looking onto my videos and I was like, I didn't do a quarter one update. So I was, I kept going back to see when I had uploaded the original intro video and it was in November of 2023. So I'm well past due for an update. Um, <clears throat> so I pulled out my items so I can share with you guys what I have finished, what I haven't finished, what I haven't even started on. And I feel like it doesn't look good. 2024 has been the year that I haven't really been going through a lot of makeup and looking at my makeup empties for 2024 like by this time usually the bin is maybe like halfway through because it's halfway through the year and maybe it's about a third full so i feel like my makeup empties for 2024 video is gonna be pretty sad one <laughs> compared to like my other videos i mean it's always nice when you finish a, any kind of makeup because you know you're putting your money to good use but it just I guess I'm so used to go using so much. It's, I don't know if that's a good thing that I've been using less makeup. Uh, I mean, I'm not, this is not like a simple makeup. I have a ton of makeup on, but I don't know what's happening. I don't know. So anyway, I'm gonna get started. I don't know how many products I picked out. I didn't count. It wasn't one of those, you know, 24 items in 2024. I just grabbed what I think I wanted to use up, what I thought I could use up and then hoping that i could and so i'm just gonna give you guys an update i didn't count them i'm sorry but i will start first with the items that i did finish i have them in this little merit bag and so i have finished i think i counted seven items and so i'm gonna get started i'm gonna get started like in the way that you would apply it to your face so i'm gonna start with two primers um i have the giorgio armani maestro uv um primer I don't think they make this anymore. I have purchased this at a, at, a, at, a, at a Nordstrom anniversary sale. And when I was looking it up so I could get the price for it, um, I couldn't find it. I had to get like a some sort of price from like a third sale retailer like eBay um, so I could get a price on this. But yeah, I don't think they make it anymore. Really enjoyed it. Um, if it was still available, I would consider repurchasing it. And then I have the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. This was okay. I enjoyed it, but I, I don't think this one, uh, Becca is no longer a thing. And I don't think this is one that Smashbox picked up to continue selling. So that was just okay. Then I have a foundation. Well, I have two foundations. So then I finished eight things. Um, I have my Kat Von D um, True Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation. I didn't care for this one. This one felt a little too oily and it did cause separation. I ended up having to decant this into a little container because this was really hard for some reason. It was really hard for me to like push the the plastic things on the side. Maybe my hands are too big. I don't know. But yeah, I didn't care for the packaging. I didn't care for the product. I don't think they sell this anymore. This is an actual Kat Von D product, not a KVD. So that goes to show you how old this actually is. And then I had a foundation that was um, decluttered to me. It had maybe a third of the container in it. It didn't have much, but I did want to use it up. And I did, uh, if you guys saw my Partners in Cream Project Pen update, you guys would have seen that in there. And then I have a face powder uh, from Maybelline. This is a Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the color Fairlight number 10. I really enjoyed this. I ended up even popping the back so I could get every single bit out of it. And I enjoyed it. This is probably one of the best drugstore powders I've used. Very comparable, I think, to the Laura Mercier one. So if you were looking to save a few dollars or several dollars, I feel like this would be a good one from the drugstore. Then the last thing, three things that I have here are eye things. I used up an eyeshadow primer from Ulta. This is the matte eye primer in the color Nude. Um, this one actually dried out on me. I tried squeezing out as much as I could, but nothing comes out anymore. It feels like there's just a one huge air bubble in here and the product just, I mean, I'm squeezing as hard as I can. So the product is just really, really hard. So that's this one. 
And then I have an eyeshadow from ColourPop. This is a Super Shock shadow in the color Fringe. I think this was kind of a, a silvery color. Um, I wanted to finish two by this year. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish the second one, but I'm glad that I at least got one out. Uh, these are huge. They have a ton of product, 2.1 grams, uh, double the size of your typical eyeshadow. Um, usually like a normal full size eyeshadow is between 0.8 to 1 gram of product. But so this was two. So glad that I got that one out. And then I also used up my Revlon Color Stay Sharp Line. This was a felt tip liner. This one like dried out almost completely. As you guys can see, it looks like a crayon uh, on my skin. Uh, definitely hard to use, but this lasted me forever as well. I want to say it lasted me like five months, like forever. Uh, I guess you get a good bang for your buck, but if you have a large collection and you're hoping to go through things pretty fast, this is not an item you're going to want in your collection. So, uh, but if you want to, you know, invest in products that's going to, that are going to take a long time to use and, you know, be used well, this is a good one from Revlon. Then, so those are all the items that I finished. Then I am currently working on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight items. Um, the first one that I don't have with me because I didn't grab it and I hope I'm just too lazy to get up and get it is an eyeliner from Shawnee. Um, this is in the color brown, but the one I'm using is black. So just know that I have the exact same pencil right here, but in black. Okay, so we'll go back. We'll come back to that one. So that's the one I'm using, the black one. Then I have the Nude Sticks uh, highlighter in Illuminati, which I keep forgetting to use it. I don't know, guys. I don't know how I keep forgetting to use it, but I, I, I am. Maybe I used it like once this week. <laughs> because I just completely forgot I don't know I'm just I used to be so good about using cream highlighters mixing with my foundation I don't know why this year it has been just hard for me to remember that step but I've used it a couple of times a handful of times then I have uh, two things that I'm almost done with iconic London's uh, sheer bronzer in the color caramel glow this is uh, in my project temp and I think uh, this is a liquid bronzer i love it it goes on super sheer easy very blendable i would repurchase this in a heartbeat i love it that much i think it's great then i'm using the abh eyeshadow primer in i think it's just a that's what it's called just eye primer it has 2 ml but this has lasted me forever uh not my favorite it's a very like white colored base and it's as thin as water. Like the tiniest little dot is enough to get both eyes. Um, the first time when I used like a, like a more than a tiny bit, I had like my whole eyelid and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? But yeah, this is gonna last me a few, maybe like a couple months still, just because a little bit goes a long, long way. Then I uh, recently started using the uh, my last primer that I have here in my products that I wanna use up. This is the Professional Pro Balm uh, from Benefit. And I have used these before. I don't remember how long it took me, maybe like three months-ish. Um, I'm enjoying it just as much as I remember enjoying it. I have used the full size, I've used minis. And like I said, it's just as great as I remembered it. I am having a good time using this one. Then I recently put this in a project pan. This is my L'Oreal True Match. This was full when I put it in the project. And now as you guys can see, I have used up maybe about a fourth of it. Um, and I enjoy it, I love it. I do have a backup of this one, just because this shade is always always seems to be sold out. This is the 2-3 light shade. And I guess it's a very common shade because it's always sold out. Then I have one powder foundation. This is the It Celebration Foundation in the color medium. Maybe spoilers for Project Pan? I don't remember. But this is where I'm at right now. I have Pan already. Um, I love this foundation. I think it's great. Great coverage. It looks very natural on the face. And I would consider repurchasing this one. I think I purchased this one because it was like... Like, It Cosmetics was like three times the points or five times the points or whatever. And I needed a powder foundation, so I picked it up. Um, otherwise, I don't think I would get it because it's almost $40 if I'm not mistaken. So... Yeah, it's a nice powder foundation, but there's good ones at the drugstore as well. And then I have this palette from e.l.f. This is the blush palette. It had three blushes and one highlighter. 
and I was able to use up two blushes already. Well, no, one blush and a highlighter. And then the second blush, as you guys can see, has a ton of pen. I need to repress that because I am having trouble picking up the product on my brush. And this one, uh, this blush right here is completely new. I haven't used it at all. Um, I feel like I can finish this one definitely by the end of July and hopefully get started on this guy in August. And then I'll have this whole palette finished. So very, very happy about that. So with that in mind, let's just segue into the products that I haven't touched once. So I have a ton, you guys, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to all of them. The first that I have here is this Cover FX Powder Foundation. This is the Pressed Mineral Foundation in the color G20. And the reason why I put the powder foundations on, on this project is because last year I was really into cream blushes and I was um, kind of heavily applying my cream blush. That's what this guy looks like right here. As you guys can see, there's still the plastic on here. Um, I was heavily applying the cream blush and then I was using a colored powder to set it and help tone the color down. So I was kind of overusing it, yes, but I was kind of making it look a little bit more natural by putting a powder product on top that would uh, cover the pigment on my cheeks. So um, this year I've been focusing on my powder blushes, uh, obviously instead of my cream blushes. So it hasn't really, it didn't kind of work out as, as much as I wanted it, wanted it to. I did buy this on Marshalls for $9.99, a great steal for a cover effects product. And yeah, that's that. Then I have one foundation still. This is from Marc Jacobs. This one, uh, you guys know Marc Jacobs no longer makes makeup, but I did buy this at Marshalls a while back. Uh, this is brand new. I haven't used it at all. Um, probably, if I can finish this by uh september and then i can have october november december i think i can finish this one but we'll see then i have two eyeliners uh well one the black liner that i that i was talking about that i'm currently using and then the brown one from shani um they're like little deluxe size samples and they're sharpenable pencils i feel like i can go through those fairly quickly then i have one bronzer <laughs> my butter bronzer I am using the one from Marc Jacobs um, that I had repressed into my Rimmel Compact. That wasn't in my products I want to use up in 2024, but since I had hit pen, I was like, I'll just finish it and then I'll move on to this one. Well, I didn't realize how long it was going to take me to use up that other Marc Jacobs one. So hopefully I can finish that one by the end of July and then uh, I can start working on this guy um, in July. And maybe I can finish it in six months. Have you guys ever panned one of these? This is brand new, guys. Completely brand new. Uh, it is 11 grams. But I feel like because it's so... This is one of the very first ones that they came up with. The one they had only two shades. And can you see how, how light this is? I feel like I can really pack it on on my face. And really go through it. This is in the color... Um, light bronzer maybe i should have when i got this maybe i should have gone with the with the other bronzer they had only two shades when they first came out the light and the medium or dark or whatever i know now they have a ton of different um colors but this is the light one uh you can barely see it on my skin as you guys saw and so that gives me hope that i can finish it like at a faster pace than normal because it has to i'm gonna have to apply a ton of it to make me look a little bit more bronzer anyway then I have, um, well, I'll save those for last. I have two um, like highlighter type products. The first one is a mini from Tarte. This is the Shape Tape Glow Wand in the color Alight. I've used one of these before and I know that I like them. So it's just a matter of getting used to applying that highlighter, cream highlighter with my, with my primer uh, in order for me to use these guys up. It's just... I just need to get back into doing that. Otherwise, they're never going to get used. Same thing with the Merit uh, highlighter stick. This is in the color Kava, highlighting balm, I should call it. Uh, super pretty color. Very natural. Can you guys see it right there? And then when you blend it out, it just gives you a very beautiful sheen. Um, I just have to, you know, get going with that one. Um, I've been using one from Becca that um, Alex sent me. 
and or like i've been mixing it with my lotion so maybe that's what i i need to do start using these on my body and then it'll help me give me like a nice glow then i have my cream blush that i don't know if i'm gonna get to it this year you guys this is from tarte this is the breezy cream blush in the color peach sunset this came in a sephora favorites kit I can't remember which one, but I know that it came in one. And as you guys can see, I have swatched it, but that's pretty much it. I haven't really used it. Um, this is very, very pretty, but I would rather try to finish that palette this year than have like two, two blushes like halfway used. You know what I mean? So we'll see if I get to that guy. And then lastly, I have three eye things. I have an eyeshadow primer this is from Lorac the behind the scenes eye primer uh I don't know if they still make this anymore I know back in the day they used to send one of these with like almost every single single um palette eyeshadow palette um I think this is the last one that I have at some point I had like three or four but I think this is the last one uh it's kind of old in my collection but does it have a little silver sticker no it doesn't but as you guys can see this is brand new I haven't used it it's completely clean Hopefully it's not dried out. And then I have two shadows. The second Super Shock shadow that I wanted to use up. Um, this is in the color DGAF. And this is almost brand new. I have used it a couple of times. Um, like in previous years, not this year. I haven't touched it this year. But I have used it before, as you guys can see a little bit there. Um, I don't think I'm going to get to it, if I'm being completely honest. I would rather finish my Panda palette 2.0 because then that would give me two full-size palettes out of my collection and then a little one from makeup forever this is the artist shadow in the color i544 this is a little sample that came somewhere many years ago and it's kind of like a purpley shade um oh my gosh it's not it's not to quite taupey but it's not lavender um, it's a pretty color. I feel like it would be a good one eyeshadow look, but we'll see. So that's everything, guys, that I'm working on. It depends on how much stuff I finish. I'll probably give you guys another update in like September, October. But if I only have like four or five items finished, then I'm just going to wait till the end of the year and give you guys another update. But for now, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.